Welcome to Rocking Chair Reading. Today's story, The Crayon's Christmas, by Drew Daywalt. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One snowy December day, Duncan was making Christmas cards with his crayons when the mail carrier brought a letter, only it wasn't for him. Two, Peach Crayon. Apartment four, Crayon Box. Duncan's room on the bookshelf next to the weird pen holder. Duncan and his crayons spent the next day playing in the snow. Yay, clothes! I don't care at all what you think. I think the snowman's nose should be a banana. Feeling snowed out, but suddenly very Christmassy, the crayons headed inside to warm up and get out of the decorations. You know, I'm candy, right, Duncan? And you know, you're supposed to eat candy, right? Because last time I checked, people didn't hang candy on the tree. 10 years in a row. I'm older than you are, kiddo. Now, will someone please eat me and end this madness? Free at last. I was in there a whole year. The next day, as Duncan and the crayons decorated the house, they heard a knock on the door. Uh, can I please not be on the back of the tree facing the wall this year? Oh, look at me! I'm a stocking! Oh, brother, I wish I'd melted to underwear instead. It was the mail carrier with another letter. This one was addressed to Beige Crayon. Beige Senior Crayonton, Pennsylvania. Beige Crayon, the crayon box, top of the bookshelf, Duncan's room. And you know what? The next night, they made Beige's dad's world-famous, top-secret, gluten-free Christmas cookies and hot cocoa. Just as they set out the cookies and cocoa, another letter came in the mail. This one was from Gray Crayon, who was away visiting his family. Ah, feel that stress just melt away. Gray Crayon, Graysland, Tennessee. Duncan's Crayons, the Crayon Fort, wherever Duncan left it. After such a great present from Gray, the crayons remembered they had some presents of their own to wrap. Oh man, you win again. I don't know how you do it. Ah, oh, a work of art, a triumph, a masterpiece, my greatest work yet. With the presents all wrapped, it was time to go caroling. Deck the halls with lots of crayons, fa la 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 Just as the crayons came home from caroling, the mail carrier delivered a big package for Chunky Toddler Crayon. Ooh, I ordered this Christmas gift online. That's how it works, right? You order gifts for yourself? It's not? Oh, sorry. Well, the good news is that we can all play with it. Open it and see. The Great Crayon Holiday Race. Finally, it was Christmas Eve. Time for the big Christmas play. After the play, at the end of the night, there was a package waiting for them at the front door. From the North Pole. But it wasn't from Santa. From Esteban, the Magnificent, and Neon Red too, to Duncan and everyone back home. Duncan was happy that his crayons received such wonderful gifts. All he had were letters from Gray, Esteban, and Neon Red saying they wouldn't be home for Christmas. That made him sad and no one in the world noticed or cared. Merry Christmas, Duncan! Love from your crayons. Except for the crayons. In this season of giving, they decided to give back to the boy who always had given them love, respect, and even a home. Yay, 
I love not being naked anymore. Merry Christmas, you old Bailey Savings and Loan. It's a Christmas miracle. God bless us, everyone. Yay, finally. The end. Subscribe to our channel for more books read aloud. If there's a favorite book you'd like us to read, please mention it in the comments below. Or if you'd like us to narrate your book, please visit us at meisnersound.com.